I realized that I was the only person who was going to be able to overcome how I felt about the whole situation. And the only way I could do that was by realizing that not everybody's pathway is the same and not everybody's um, road to success is the same. And also accomplishment doesn't look the same for everybody. Um, for some people, it's getting a high paying job. For some people, it's being able to be flexible with the kind of job that they have. For some people, success is getting the best grades. And for some people, success is being able to do what they love, even if they don't have the best grades. Assalamu alaikum everybody, my name is Fatima Danani. Um, I'm 23 years old. I grew up in Dar. Uh, I currently work uh, in legal and admin for a food and beverage and hospitality company. Um, and I have my Bachelor's of Arts in Law from City University of London. Um, in my free time, I also freelance as a creative director uh, and I really enjoy writing poetry. Uh, it's my happy space. Most people, when they look at me, would never believe that I almost didn't graduate university or that I failed uh, my exams two years in a row. Um, but that's because most people don't talk about failure and that not everybody has the same pathways to success and that not everybody walks the same pathways in life. Um, today, I just want to talk to you a little bit about my experience and how I've learned to come to terms that failure is just a part of life. Um, and really who you are and how you define success is all um, in your head and how you want it to be. Um, society makes us believe that we are defined by our numbers or by labels, but the truth is we're defined by the kind of impact that we have on ourselves and our communities around us. And in the end, all, that's all that really matters. Growing up, I loved school. I loved attending class. I loved learning new things. I loved working on projects. Um, I was lucky I went to a school that didn't really require us to do any exams or tests early on um, and so I felt pretty good about where I was in school. I was always getting good grades, um, I was engaged in class and I really enjoyed learning overall. Um, entering high school um, was pretty much the same. We had projects and you know cr um, creative kind of assessments versus exams and tests. However, in IB is where I really struggled. This is the time where grades began to matter because your grades is how you were getting into university. Uh, and for me, that's when the pressure and the anxiety started. Uh, I excelled on anything that wasn't an exam. Um, and that's kind of where my confidence started to be crushed because, you know, here I was thinking that I, you know, I enjoyed what I was doing. I was giving in, you know, my 100%. Um, I was trying really hard. I was making all the efforts but the grades weren't reflecting that. So was there something wrong with me? Was I doing something wrong? Um, was I gonna be able to get into the schools that I wanted to? Um, you know, I wanted to go to law school and you need really good grades, uh, you know, which is what I thought uh, at the time. You needed really good grades, you needed to be smart. Um, and in that moment when I started doing all these exams and started getting my grades, I didn't feel very smart and I didn't feel very accomplished or successful. Um, and my self-confidence really took a blow. Um, I didn't get into my dream school, but then I got the opportunity to apply to a really good school, City University of London, through clearing, and I managed to secure a place at the City Law School. Um, and uh, from there on, I decided, okay, a fresh new outlook, uh, and you know, to really uh, give it my all at university. Uh, the next three years at university would equally be some of the best and worst years of my life. Um, I struggled to show up to class. I, uh, I just about made it through an exam or tests. Um, I wasn't motivated. Um, the first time I failed, I, I was really disappointed because um, I really felt that I had done my best, um, but that even my best wasn't enough. Um, and I really started to feel trapped by this idea that I was forever going to be, de be defined by a number or by a label. Um, or by somebody else's perception of me. And that really, really bothered me. But more than the failure, what bothered me um, was the fact that I felt like I couldn't tell anybody else because of what they might think of me. Um, and that's kind of where I began to understand that actually, the more you talk about it and the more honest you are about your experiences, the more you will learn about other people and what they've gone through. And that actually, um, 
everybody fails at one point in time or another. Um, it's, you're not alone in that. Um, and you can only find comfort uh, or you can only be more accepting of your failure when you open up about it to other people. Come my second year, I was like, you know what, I'm going to work really hard. I'm going to try my best. Um, and I did. I asked for help. Um, I even went to see a counselor at one point. Um, I thought I had done everything I could to make sure that it wouldn't happen again. Um, I recognized where I could have done better and where I could have tried better and I took actions to support that. Um, and even then, I still ended up failing an exam in my second year. So you go through the entire stress again and now it's like, how could you have failed again? In the three years at university, everything that wasn't an exam, I did amazing at. I was excelling. I worked for my student union. I got part-time jobs. I got featured in my school's prospectus. I worked as a waitress in a restaurant. I um, joined all the extracurricular activities I could find. I made, I made it onto the women's football team. Um, I really, really made the most of my time um, outside of my academics because at some point I realized that my grades weren't necessarily going to reflect who I was, but that all the other work um, effort and development that I could do on myself would. Again, success is not just defined by labels and numbers, but it's defined by your willingness to work hard, to learn something new, to show empathy to someone, to be kind to somebody. Um, you know, the numbers and the labels, the certificates or what school you went to, those are just, um, those matter in the moment. It's so hard to see outside of that moment, but really they only just matter in the moment. And I can say that now because I look back and I have a job that I love. I get to live at home with my family um, and I really, really feel happy and content with where I am. I feel like I'm successful right now and it's not because I did well at university or because I got the best grades, um, but it's because I made peace with what I wanted my life to look like and with who I wanted to be. Um, and I want to be somebody that people can rely on, somebody who can be kind and caring, somebody who can show up for their loved ones, somebody who can contribute to their community and to give back. Uh, and to me, those are the measures of success that really matter. So I guess the only thing that I want to tell everybody today is, honestly, um, it's hard. It's so easy to say, don't be afraid, but truly try and embody that. Don't be afraid of being honest about your failures or opening up to people about things that you might not feel the best about because I guarantee you they will have something to tell you as well um, and that you will realize that everybody has their own ups and downs um, everybody has their own journey um, and in the end it is only who you are who you want to be um, and the impact that you have that matters.